Today I'm going to play a side event, the 5,000 Heads Up, which I'm really looking forward to because I had pretty bad cards in the main event, and in Heads Up it doesn't matter. There's only four cards out there, nobody's usually got a big hand, so it's much more about position and aggression, which you can kick off with any two cards. And if you're on the button, you probably should kick off with any two cards. So uh, I'm looking forward to the action today. Might even try and sneak the camera in and see if I can show you a couple of hands. I'm starting off with a nice healthy breakfast. It's all about fish and fruit, things to keep your brain sharp, and slow-release sugars for those long hours at the table. Health, health, health is the watchword at breakfast. <laughs> and my breakfast companion is my fellow team pro, John Duffy, who once came second in a heads-up bracelet event at the World Series. So I've met him for breakfast in the hope that just being near him will make me feel prepared. John, do you have any heads-up tips? Yeah, you just, you just have to want to kill your opponent. Simple. Now, because it's so fast, there's an awful lot of luck involved in heads-up. Now, because it's mano a mano, Heads Up is an extremely skillful game. Note to self, edit according to who wins. Okay, this is my first opponent. His name's Rashid. Well now, that's an unfortunate turn of events. It was all going very well against Rashid. I had a 2 to 1 chip lead, 20,000 to his 10,000. And suddenly it turned out that he'd sat in the wrong seat. And the ruling is that all the chips will be given back and I'll start again against a new opponent. Now, if I were the tournament director, I wouldn't have made that ruling. I would have said there's been action, it's been unfair on the player in the lead. But rulings are different all over the world and you have to respect them. You have to play properly, you've got to respect the word of the tournament director. So I've come outside to have a little walk around and feel sorry for myself that my chip lead's been given away. And then I'm gonna go back and start again. So this is my new opponent, Ali. Let's see if I can do so well against him. Okay, so we're going to sweat a hand. This is my hand. It's going to raise to 200. I'm going to make it 7. I won. Okay, I've got the button this time. Let's see what I've got. I've raised. And it's cool. Let's have a look at the flop. We won one. Well, oh dear, Ali won that much. Horrible last hand. All in, I had ace 10, he had ace 5, and he hit the 5. Luckily, these heads up matches are best of 3, so I've still got a chance, but. Uh, the omens aren't good. Now I've got to win two of them back to back. Mmm, it's a delicious banana. That's right, I'm short of cutaways in this film. The banana is my delicious power snack. I'm now one all with Ali, so we've got the deciding match coming up. Fingers crossed. Yes, it's got dark. That's how long it took for Ali to beat me. Yes, he won two nil, three very long matches. Um, i got to say, I played really well. I don't often say that out loud, it's not very English, but I did. I played really, really well, and I got unlucky, but I was going to get unlucky. I think I knew when I was beating my first opponent so comprehensively, and they took him away and gave me another one, I think I knew it was on me. But hey, I tried hard, I think I played a really good game, and I got seven hours of heads-up poker for the money, so uh, can't say there wasn't action. Maybe I'll win it next year.